Hello, and welcome to Bottleship with our friends, the Jifflings. If you enjoy the show, please leave a review and share the podcast with your friends. And stay tuned to the end of the show when the Jifflings will read out some of your reviews. Who knows, we might even read out your review. And now it's time for today's episode, The Eel's Needle. In your world, things are important. But what about the things that aren't important anymore? Well, sometimes those things end up here in the magical land of Dilstonia, where the Jifflings live on their little Jiffling ship. They find these things that we throw away and fish them out of their sea so they can recycle them and put them to good use once again. And here they are now, ready to work. Eccentric young pumpkin. Ooh, I'm ever so excited. The Hedge, who was a very lazy Jiffling. Like, hey man, is it time for a bed yet? Miss Katie, who loves fixing things and dressy up. Sometimes I like both together. Albert, the ship's gardener. Hey, who's been in a me cabbage patch like? And Friedeline, a very sensible Jiffling, who looks after everybody on the ship. Yeah, that is correct. Oh. Today on the ship, it is Friday the 13th, which is a funny day that some people say is very unlucky. Oh. But Jifflings know that is simply not true. And so on this Friday, it is time for the Jifflings to do their washing. Hey. Yeah. All the Jifflings are carrying their dirty trousers and cardigans oh. and socks hey. towards the basin, where they wash everything by hand, which is ever such a lot of work but it does make their clothes spick and span. I think we should wash the Jifflin' curtains too. They look a bit worse for wear after Pumpkin used them as a sea hammock. Sorry about that, Miss Katie, but it was terribly fun. Miss Katie and Young Pumpkin unhooked the curtains and brought them over to the basin where Friedeline was counting everyone's clothes so that nothing got lost. Hedge, what must you put through the Jifflin' wash today? Like only my 28 pairs of PJs, man. Oh, lazy hedge, always so sleepy. And Miss Katie, what will you wash? I've got three pairs of greasy overalls and five frilly dresses and some curtains. Oh, that is quite the mixture. Indeed. Then Young Pumpkin dropped a rather crumpled heap of all sorts on the floor. <laughs> there were bright shorts, glittering boleros, capes and even a Christmas hat. And these are the clothes that you have worn lately, Pumpkin? Oh yes, Friedeline, all the time. Oh. Then Friedeline called for the final gif. Albert? Herr Albert, please bring forward your clothes. Slowly. Albert stepped forward. But what was this? His arms were bare. Bare? I mean, um, well, there's nothing really to do from me, Friedeline. Like, uh, I just haven't been wearing many clothes. Now that sounded very silly. All of the Jifflings had seen Albert wearing his gardening dungarees oh. and his gardening galoshes. So they knew this wasn't quite true. Ha, Albert, this is simply the nonsense. We need your clothes or you will be the very messy jiffling. We know, Friedelaine. Today is Friday the 13th and that means it's unlucky. No, nothing good can happen. If I give you me gardener's clothes, well, they might get shrunk. Or worse? The Jifflings all looked confused. Whoa. That didn't seem very likely. Nein, this is silly. There is not really the bad luck on Friday the 13th. This is just the story. Oh, Jiffs, you know that sound. That is the sound of an object which has been lost or thrown away on Earth and now it has found its way into your net. Time to heave it in and give it a new use. <sighs> the object fell onto deck with a twinkle. It was pointy and important, and it had a little hole at one end. 
Ooh, I think it's a gnome's fishing rod for hooking all of the dirty welly boots right out of his pond. I think that's an engine stick for dipping in the engine to check it's okay. Then Hedge stepped forward, for he knew exactly what the object was. He jambled up onto the story seat and began his special tale. This is the eel's needle. And my half-sister, Natasha McJiffling, told me all about it. Once in a rather deep river, there lived a very long and special kind of fish known as an eel. <laughs> and this eel was called Tiana. Hey. Now Tiana was very popular throughout the river because she loved to sew. Ah. She sewed tiny little bonnets for her friends, the water snails, Woo. and she made a lovely set of gloves for Cassius Crab. Who? And she always used her special needle. Ah. Then, one Tuesday, Tiana Eel was sewing a nice little orange purse ah. for her friend, Teresa Beaver. Woo. When she got her ball of thread all tangled up. Huh. Oh gosh! Wait, I know the problem. This is my unlucky thread. It always gets tangled up. I know. I shall use my other thread. So Tiana got out her other thread and carried on sewing. But a short while later, oh no! Her thread was tangled again. Double golly gosh. This thread must be unlucky too. Now I shall have to get rid of this one as well and use my final thread. So Tiana picked up her third ah. ball of thread and once again carried on sewing. But pretty soon, disaster. Oh. Her ball of thread was tangled again. Golly gosh, mountains. It seems like all my thread is unlucky. Well, there's no point carrying on now. With luck like this, I might as well give up sewing forever. So Tiana put down her thread <laughs> and threw away her special needle. And all of her friends in the river were sad <laughs> because they loved Tiana's sewing very much. Especially Teresa Beaver. Oh, I really was looking forward to that nice little orange purse, you know. Oh. But because she was so superstitious and believed that all of her thread was unlucky, Tiana never sewed anything ever again. <sighs> and because the needle was thrown away, it has ended up here. Yeah. And now, we must use it once more. You are absolutely right, Friedeline. But how are you going to use it today? I think we should use the needle as a clothes rack, and it can hold all our beautiful costumes and my overalls. Yes, Miss Katie, that would be very useful. But it seems that Albert has another idea. Hey, why don't we use it as a long push and pull? that we can use to push our clothes around the hot soapy washing basin to make them all nice and clean, including all of my gardener's clothes, even if it is Friday the 13th. Oh yes, Albert, that's a marvellous idea, and everyone agrees. Yay! Yeah. Albert went to get his washing, and with Miss Katie's help, they got out all the spots of dirt and squishes of compost until his clothes were as fresh as a daisy once more. Aye. And all the gifs were very happy to have nice, clean clothes once again. Oh. Yeah. Then they changed into their lovely, fresh jiffling pyjamas, jumped into their soft jiffling beds, and then it was time to say good night. Good night, young pumpkin. Good night. Good night, Albert. I'll see you in the morning, like. Good night, Friedeline. And it is a good night. Yeah. Good night, Miss Katie. Night, night.
Good night, Hedge. Hedge? Oh, I think the Hedge is asleep already. And goodbye to you too, wherever you are. Maybe next time you see a thing that you might throw away, you'll stop and see if you can use it again, just like our friends the Jifflings. And maybe the thing you use again will have a story to tell too. Goodbye. Thank you for listening to Bottleship. For all the parents listening, if you'd like to, you can donate to the show at patreon.com forward slash bottleship. And for all the children listening, if you enjoyed the show, please leave a review and share the podcast with your friends. We've had some lovely reviews this week, haven't we, Jifflings? Yeah, like this review from America. It says, hi, I am Adeline and I am eight years old. I am from upstate New York in the United States. I have been listening to your stories since the very first one. My mom and I have the whole intro memorized, and we do it with accents too. My favorite gif is Miss Katie, because I love how funny and stylish she is. My favorite episode is one, the sunglasses, and two, the astronaut's helmet. Yay! What a brilliant review, Adeline! Yeah, and what a brilliant name, too! It almost sounds like my name! Ha! Like, totally, man! And we have this special rhyming review, too! It says, My name is Elliot. Podcasts are my jam! This one is my favourite. I'm such a big fan. I love your stories. They are the best. They help me fall asleep and get my rest. Please post more. I sure hope you do. It makes me so happy when one is new. Woo! Thank you, Elliot. What a perfect poem. I and we would also like to wish... A very special Merry Jiffmas to Isabel and her mom Kimberly in Birmingham, Michigan, USA. Thank you for sending us such wonderful drawings, Isabel. They were so good. Like, thank you, Isabel and Kimberly. And Merry Jiffmas! And Merry Jiffmas to everyone out there listening to the show. We hope you have a wonderful holiday break and thank you for tuning in to our podcast. And if you like listening to stories, why not check out our sister podcast, Storytime, for children of all ages. Thanks again and we'll bring you more exciting adventures with our friends the Jifflings very soon. Goodbye.